Welcome. I'm from the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S, and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So we're gonna begin with the dark mode, which you can quickly enable through settings under the display section. So you will find it right over here. Now the benefit of it here is it adds the ability for you to set up a schedule for it, so it will turn on and off depending on where you are. Uh, which is a really nice feature because during the day I would consider light mode to be a little bit more suitable, uh, better visible, especially outside, while dark mode uh, is better during nighttime so you don't get blasted with pure white uh, bright light out of your phone. So, yeah, so you can simply enable it from here as a schedule. You can change the time if you want to, and this will switch uh, between them depending on the time, which is really nice. Now moving on to the next one, it's going to be the color scheme, which again under the display is right above the uh, the dark mode. And you can see that by default it's set to auto, but we also have a saturated option and standard. And you can quickly flip between those and see the difference between each one of them, and especially on the image right here. So you can pick whichever one suits you most. Personally, I'm not a fan of these oversaturated displays, so I'll go with the standard option here. Now moving on to the next one, uh, it's going to be the full screen display or as you probably will know it better, uh, gesture navigation. So this device already looks really nice but those buttons at the bottom aren't really doing it justice. So all we need to do is go back to the settings, scroll all the way down to additional settings, full screen display and switch it to gesture. Now it will bring us up with a guide on how to use them so we can learn it quickly. But basically we have swipe up uh, from the bottom quickly and uh, that's the home gesture. Uh, then swipe up and hold to go to recent and then swipe from either side to go back. As you can see when you swipe from the side it does bring, the, bring up the arrow. And there we go. Now if you have some kind of problems with the gesture navigation, uh, as an example, majority of the time I see people struggling with the uh, home gesture, so the swipe up. Um, people tend to swipe up on the screen up, which isn't necessarily the correct way to go about it. What you want to do is swipe off of the screen up. As you can see, this will basically ensure that it works every time. So if you have a problem with this, that's what I recommend you to try and do. Now moving on to the next option, it's gonna be the uh, categories in your app tray. As you can see by default, we have a bunch of them. Uh, I do consider this to be a really nice touch from Xiaomi to include categories. So we don't have like all the apps uh, smack in the middle here, especially when you have a lot of them, it becomes really annoying. So they did add categories. Uh, as you can see, some of them might not be the greatest uh, or like you might not want most of them. So what you can do is go into the settings. From here, we're gonna go into home screen section, right over here, app drawer, and then manage app categories. And as you can see, you can simply remove these categories if you don't want them, uh, create your own custom ones. So uh, you'll just type in a name uh, that you want to create of a category. So. Uh, Now go stuff. Mm -hmm. Great name here. And from here, simply select the apps that you want in there. So you just kind of start tapping on the apps that you want. From there, tap on the check mark, and voila, we have created, uh, or we should have created a stuff, there we go, uh, category. So now, if we leave this and go into our app tray, you will see stuff folder or stuff category. So it's a really nice way for you to organize apps, keep them uh, separated, you can create your own category, which you can add specific apps that you just want there. And also you can arrange uh, the order of them, which is another nice thing. And also you can tap right there to quickly access it if you want to change it. And moving on to the last option, which I wanted to show, uh, which will be probably more designated for the elderly people, it is the light mode. 
So let me quickly enable it. So all you need to do is go into the settings, scroll down to special features and choose light mode, turn it on and you'll see, there we go. Once it turns on, it makes basically all the apps are uh, huge and uh, limits the device, it removes gestures, so changes a bunch of different settings as you can see. Um, removes toggles from notifications, makes basically all the font bigger, all the toggles bigger and makes it well easier to use. So even though it's called light mode, which not exactly sure why, I guess it's light on features, uh, which makes it I guess easier for, to use and well, use for elderly people because well, you don't have as much stuff on your screen. Uh, as you can see, the first uh, homepage is filled with what I would call essential applications, messages, dialer, camera, settings, uh, store, gallery, weather, and music, and that's all you have. And then on the other pages, uh, you do have additional setting or additional apps. So I guess Chrome should be probably essential as well. And then everything else is just kind of hidden away. Um, so, like I said, a uh, good option for people that struggle with the device, for elderly people, or maybe visually impaired ones. Uh, but yeah, that being said, this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I wanted to share. And if you found them helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.